Hey. We're back. Hey. We're back. Five heartbeats. Five heartbeats. Robots, robots in disguise. disguise. <laughs> All right. So we changed the whole format of the yeah, show. Yeah. <laughs> Everything now is Transformers. Transformers no matter That's what. That's what we're doing. <laughs> no matter what. No matter what. Everything is Transformers. <laughs> when did you watch the movie, buddy? I didn't even see you watch this. Um, I watched it. It was a day where you were at work and I wasn't. So I just watched it. At nighttime? On the TV. Okay. No, I, I watched it in the daytime. Oh, I was just... By afternoon. You, you had just left. I had just left. So it was like at five. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't see you watch this one. Yeah, this yeah, week. And that's down. Yeah, normally I'll catch you watching it. Yeah. Um, it was a good movie. Right? It, yeah. If I, it, it, I, I, Watching it made me think of like a ranking list in my head and how I'd rank movies just because I'm watching so many now for yeah. whatever reason. Uh, for, what, I, for this reason. Because I should have. Because <laughs> yeah. I should have already watched them. Uh... I would put this like in the if there was a I would do like five tiers like great above average average bad and so bad it's yeah. good. And this oh, is, yeah, so this bad is, is good. That's Rocky Four list. Yeah, that's Rocky Four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll put this. This is above average. Wow, I thought you say average. This to me, this is above average. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not the greatest movie. Ever, but every uh, time I watch it, I'm like, yeah, I like this. <laughs> it's you know what? Because it's the music. It's fun, and they can really sing. Yeah, I yeah, told you. Yeah, yeah, were you impressed by the singing uh, of Robert Townsend? Like when when he's on the piano. <laughs> And he starts singing. Uh, is that him actually singing? I don't know. You know what it feels like? It feels like in Bollywood, they just have singers sing over the actors. And right? that's what it, it feels very Bollywood. It's got to be. Sense. It's got to be. The voices are too clean and perfect. There's no way they can act and do that. I wonder if some time. of them were singing. I feel like some of them had to be actually singing. Maybe. I'm sure one of them or two of them could sing. Yeah, probably. Because I know the, the one guy, I told you the guy, the David Ruffin guy, uh, yeah. Dries, yeah. he's in a bunch of these kind of movies. So oh, I think he like, can actually sing. Where he can actually like sing, sing. I would think so, because or, or else maybe he's just really good at playing a singer. Yeah, that, that'd be maybe. Yeah. But, um, yeah, above average. There's some things that you're like, yeah. it was like, oh, well, like, like, it's very 90s in the sense that, oh, like, so some of the settings, like, in the alley, it's like, what alley is this? Have you ever been in an alley with that much stuff in it? Yeah, it was the sixties, right? Right, but like, 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 movie wise, every alley in every nineties movie is super busy. It has like, like, there's like mattresses and flying yeah. papers everywhere. The alley they find them in, it looks more like where they a landfill, like where they take garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you watch Blade, is the same way. If you look at every alley in Blade, there's like a lot of things in it for whatever. Yeah, reason. Usually, alley one, one dump, one can, one trash can. Yeah, you, usually one. alleys aren't that dirty because no one just who hangs out in an alley like that. <laughs> Rapists. Yeah, but they're, and they're not, usually clean. Yeah, they're not usually throwing their trash. With yeah, them. yeah, they're, they're clean, clean guys. Yeah, I mean, it's stuff, so stuff like that is like, yeah. uh, it was interesting. You know, uh, story was kind of, at points you're like, oh, this is weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, how crazy is the villain, dude? The villain is the craziest Good part villain. of the movie. Good villain. I like the villain. The, the, the scene where he holds the guy over the thing. What did I hit? Before, before you get to it, what okay. did I hit? What did I miss? Um, Let's see. Uh, you know what you missed that I thought was really interesting? Well, okay. Well, first of all, you missed, I think, I don't, or I don't remember you saying that Eddie gets in a shootout with the police. That's on the radio. As he's tracking, as he's tracking. I don't say, I say he, he goes to the hospital for a, robbing a liquor store, but I don't say, I didn't say the shootout with the police. I didn't yeah. say that part. Yeah. Yeah. When he's going to go catch his fiance cheating. Mm -hmm. um, with choir boy. Yeah, he thought. He thought. Yeah, he was. He was so sure. Um, also, for whatever reason, in the background, a lot of things are on fire. Like, <laughs> so when the big red goes for murder, the one of the big headlines is fire destroys warehouse. I just noticed that, right? For whatever reason. And then right before he gets in a shootout with the police, so he finds out he gets in a shootout with the police on the radio, right? The story before that, for no reason, they go the the radio announcer goes, nine people have died in a fire." In other news, Eddie King has gotten a shootout with the police. <laughs> Bro, people die in fire in this movie in the background. It's not even a part of the movie. <laughs> What's going on, Robert Townsend? <laughs> right? It's very weird. So I think maybe some. Maybe he was really into fires. Yeah, yeah. he knew someone that. Died and he was like, "I'm gonna keep bringing this." The up. dad in the fire. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep. <laughs> I gotta let people Until know. Me. No, I gotta. Um, that's so. That's such an interesting. No, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it was. It was just. It was an interesting thing. Uh, there, my favorite group in the movie was there was like 
just one of their openers in like Detroit or whatever, or a random another random city. They were just a group of box. They were dressed like a boxers. They were. I forgot about this. Yeah, it's like yeah, a very yeah. quick little shot. Yeah, and the and the two songs they use boxing metaphors to talk about women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that was definitely a real group for sure. Oh, for sure, for sure, that was a real group, dude. For sure. Um, you got Big Red's energy right. That guy was scary. That guy was weird. I mean, he was. Hey, my favorite part is that he was hanging out like when he's ha- dangling the guy off the roof. Yeah, you can tell that he's like hanging out with the mob. Cause like, there's mob guys behind him, and they do mob things. Like yeah. there's a fat Italian guy like clutching his ring, and then they uh, kill the manager. I forgot his name already. Uh, they kill him though. I forgot his name too. Yeah, right. Was it Jimmy? Jimmy. It feels like Jimmy. We're gonna go with Jimmy. Yeah. Um, there was a manager, and um, what happened? Oh yeah, he got killed by a dump truck, which is like a mob thing. The mob owns all the garbage trucks, especially in the 60s. Maybe yeah. even now still. Probably now still. I yeah. don't know. They still got to be doing something. Yeah, yeah, Well, they're still around, so they yeah. got to they gotta have something legitimate. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it's like, oh, okay. It's like a nice, subtle, like, subtle, like, oh, he's tied to the mob type thing. Yeah. Yeah. God, he was gangster, bro. He was. I thought the best actor was Eddie. It was Eddie. Eddie Kane? Yeah. Oh, he steals the movie. That's why he's on yeah, the yeah. cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> yeah. definitely the best actor. He steals the whole movie. Yeah. Um, His brother's a piece of shit. The main guy, Duck. Duck's oh, brother, JT. Yeah. He sucks. Yeah. I, I, I was like, oh, you, you, you're a bad big brother. He's not very redeemable. No, I mean, in the end, I guess he has a family and like. But he names like, his first kid Duck. Duck, but he also like. I mean, he also fucked his brother's fiance. Fiance. Well, I mean, the first part where he steals his brother's girl after doing Shy Boy. He steals a girl. It's like, hey, yeah. man. Your brother just did that yeah. for you. It, it just set up, they set up all these little things. And just like the way mm. he would talk to him. It's just like, oh, you're not cool. No. No. You suck. Yeah, there weren't there weren't a lot of I mean, besides Eddie, no one else really had a character arc, really. No. Duck didn't have an arc. He I liked his character. Yeah, he, he was arc. just but he was just there. He was the sort of he was the straight man. He was the Eric uh foreman. He was the guy yeah, like yeah, keeping them keeping, Michael the, thing, keeping the thing going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he has to keep it going forward. Uh what was it? Dresser? Was that his name? Dresser. Yeah. He, I actually recognized him. He is in, I watched one season of this show called Blacklist. It's on, I think, NBC. And he's like the, he's like, it's like the, the, heard that the show with James Spader. Yeah, I heard, yeah, yeah. I, it's fun. The show is fun. The thing about that show that makes it great is that death doesn't matter in that show. Like, it doesn't affect the main characters at all. Like, one of the main characters, his fiance dies, his fiance gets murdered, and then in the next episode, he's just back. One of the main characters in the first episode just gets a throat slit, and then... It's like she never existed for you know what I mean. Like death doesn't affect the characters at all. It's very yeah. funny. It's very it's all it's an action paced movie. Uh, it's a TV show. Wait, are you just talking about Blacklist right now? Yes. I thought I was waiting for a comparison. Oh no! I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're just talking he, about Black- yeah. He's in a show I like. <laughs> but then when you were talking about, I was like, oh, here, uh, he's gonna say something about Dresser. Uh, I mean, and then you were just like, no, no, no. This is this is a part of Blacklist. Hey guys. Yeah. Blacklist. Watch Blacklist. I guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, he's nothing like his. I mean, he's kind of like his character. Because Dresser doesn't really. No, he just, he's the he's the he's, he's just the guy with the deep voice. Yeah, he's the guy who kind of has it the most together out of everyone. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's yeah, he the kind of guy who has it most together. You're yeah, right. and there's no other than other than his girl getting pregnant. There's no drama around him at all. Yeah, and he and he debates for a second getting an abortion. Yeah, that scene almost made me cry. It's a real good scene. Yeah, when they give him the money, Eddie Kane. You're right. He's the only. His character had a lot of depth, mm. even when he was fucking up. He was still a good. Yeah, I still, mean, he gave his money. God, but he he is the worst person though. He got he like got the guy killed. Yeah. Oh my god. Like you know, like that is so. It's like man, what a character. Like, but that that's a real like, the character is so good. That's why people I think like him. People always say Eddie Kane. When people ever quote the movie, they always quote Eddie Kane. Quote, yeah. Yeah. But how, are you saying Kane or King? Eddie Kane. K- Eddie Kane Jr. Because uh, the the subtitle says King. Does it? Yeah. I've been it, the what's it called everybody always says Kane K A N E. Well, now we have to look that up. Like but, yeah, I didn't think that. Um, so at one point in the episode, we uh, we talked about like because they they get or in the movie they get their cover It's like a white family. Yeah, yeah, and so I looked it up. Like looked up if uh, that was oh, real. We looked up. He looked up black artists first album covers that have white people on it. We were very curious because this happens in the movie. Yeah, Ray Charles. It was a picture of him. His face is in the corner. Everyone else I looked at, the Temptations were them. The only one I found, James Brown's first album, I found two versions of it. 
One is of him singing, and one is of a white lady's legs. I don't know which one came first. That also, the white lady's legs could have been his choice. That also could have been his choice. Because the white lady's legs is like, that's, that's, is it sexy too? No. They're not sexy legs? No, it's like, it's just like, you could, they're like, like mid ankle. They're like low on her legs. And she's like, like wearing like, oh, I would almost probably like a, like a Sunday school dress type thing. Would that have been sexy at that time? That's a lot of leg at that time, I guess. No. Women were showing their legs in the 60s. For sure. A school girl. I'm sure a school girl outfit was pretty hot. But it wasn't like a school girl outfit. It was like, it it wasn't, I wouldn't describe it. It was like very like, not homely, but like cute. Was it maybe? 60s sex? I mean, that could have been sex in the 60s. That's it, what didn't, I'm it didn't feel like sex. In the 60s, though. Are we putting it in context? I mean, this, I mean, I there was sex in the 60s. That was more not, than that. Not on commercial basis. There was not. More than, I mean, you could, like the, what the like airline stewardesses were wearing. That, that was sexy shit. This doesn't, this didn't feel sexy. Okay. It just felt like a, a like a white lady's legs. Yeah. Yeah. It was very I weird. I see it. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't really have anything else to say. Oh, oh that's what I remember. You, you said the shots were simple. Yeah. What do you mean by that? They, uh, they didn't move a lot. Yeah, okay. That's why, yeah, they're simple in that sense. They're very, every shot is very busy, though. No, no, no. I meant camera still. Yeah, it's just static shot to static shot. There's like no, The Godfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Not like, mm-hmm. just like, and also in The Godfather, there's a lot of stuff in the camera. There's right. lots, they fit lots of stuff in the camera, but the camera's not moving, so it still feels okay. Okay, I guess not the, like, The Godfather, just the shots felt more clean, if that's what I'm saying. I just rewatched it. Nuh-uh. Go back and look. Bro, uh-huh. the shots are like this, and there's so many, so much shit in all the shots. Really? There's so much shit maybe in all I'm the just, shots. Maybe I'm just Yeah, go back and rewatch it. All right, I gotta have, it's been a while. But yeah, that's why I just, I remember the shots being very yeah, busy. Yeah, I watched it like two days ago. Yeah, you did. Uh, I remember the shots being very busy. Yeah, the yeah. shots are, yeah, I meant, I meant mm-hmm. like this. Like, the camera's not doing this, not a lot of this, and like, you know what I mean? No. And backing up. No, just straight up, this is it, this is everything that's in this box, and this is what we're working with. I like that. Yeah, that's a that's a style. That's definitely a style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's like an old way to shoot a movie too. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? And I was like, oh, I like that. Yeah, I thought the movie would be lighter lit than it was for whatever reason when you were describing it. It's a very dark movie. It's very dark. Yeah, like just so the only parts movie. that I like are the songs, like them, not the songs, them yeah. singing. Yeah, them singing, like the actual, like even the talent shows. Yeah, it's very dimly lit. It's very grungy. Grungy. There's yeah, there's bad. Like people are trying to fuck people over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, I thought the but I thought there would be some like. Because, you know, they're on stage and they're performing in front of, like, these big audiences and they're selling out these arenas, but it's still dark. Dark and – because that is the tone. I mean, he, never the, left, he never left the tone of, like, Until this the very is, end. Until the, the very, very the end. The barbecue. The barbecue. The barbecue was the only light shot in the light. movie. It was really light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or I guess when he also – when he goes to the park to see his – but that's the yeah, That's right when it no, starts. No, all of it. Like, that. the church is light. That's just, the church is really light. Finally, right, the, good point. the redemption of it all is The light. redemption, he adds – good job. I, I, you know what? That's fucking how you're supposed to – I like that, man. I like uh, – he's not like it's fuck. the greatest movie in the world, but you could, it's just, like, little things that are like, oh, that was good. That was well done. That was well done. You got to fuck with the lighting and stuff like that. Yeah, you do. It's really dope. Well done, Robert. Five heartbeats, guys. Hey! Welcome back, guys. All right. We did it. We did what? <laughs> what did we do? We did, uh, we We're did back. It. We did it. Yeah, we came back. We did it. Son? All right. So let's lay it on me, buddy. You excited for today? I'm Nervous not, for today? I hope it's not another heavy movie. I want a light one. You want a light one? I want a light one. What did I get? That's what Rollins. he wants. That's what he wants. Hassan, mm-hmm. what happens in the film? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, just say it. <laughs> Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <sighs> Whatever this is, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. Um, okay, well... Uh, I, I know this is a good movie. I know that. So what happens at Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? Uh, there is this scientist guy. He's very smart. and uh, But nobody notices him. He goes unnoticed by the world. And then, <laughs> I don't know, to impress someone, probably a girl, he creates this machine <laughs> that makes it rain food. Everywhere. 
oh man, I don't even, I don't even know. And then, uh, and then things go wrong. Big food starts flying from the sky, and now they got to survive this uh, crazy food world thing. And how how does it uh, uh, climax and resolve? Uh, he gets the movie, and then he realizes he doesn't need to be so. He gets showy. the movie. Oh, did, did I say that? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he gets the role. Uh, <laughs> he got the role in this. I don't know. Okay. Well, uh, he figures out his machine and turns off all the all the food weather uh-huh. and then he realizes he doesn't need to build these crazy things to get the girl all he does is have to be himself and that's cloudy with a chance of people wow yeah i don't i don't even know where to begin with that like as, as to even guess that well you didn't want a bad guess it was, you were you wouldn't like you wouldn't like as off as other guesses. You yeah, I mean? I mean, well, it was not a bad guess. It was just weather, and uh, I know it was made by the same guys that made like Lego Movie and the Twenty Two and Twenty One Jump Streets. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited. I like those guys. What happens? So, movie starts. Okay. The you know the Columbia statue, like that is the beginning of every movie. It looks like the Statue of Liberty. Oh yeah. All right, so the movie starts with that, like mm-hmm. music playing. And then uh, she gets hit with a banana. And then it's just a banana. Okay? So music plays. as the credit it's like roll, right? And it's saying like who's in the movie. And then it goes like a film by a lot of people. Doesn't say the director's name. Okay. That's funny. And then you hear a voiceover, right? Shot of Earth. And then go, you hear a, you ever felt like you were a little bit different? You know? Like you had something unique to offer the world if you could just get people to see it then you know exactly how it felt to be me, right? And it zooms in on Earth, and it's a classroom, and it's a kid, little kid holding his hand up, right. okay? And the teacher's like, go ahead, Flint. And he runs up, this little kid runs up, and he's a little nerdy Bill Hader. Ooh, like, ooh right? Bill Hader. All right? I like this. So that's Already. the voice. And he says, uh, the little kid's like, uh, untied shoes. Uh, it's the big biggest problem facing our communities today. Mm-hmm. And then all the little kids look down at their shoes untied, and they're like, like, <laughs> this guy's this guy's talking to me, you know. <laughs> and then uh, that's really goes, funny. So I invented spray on shoes, right? And then he holds out like a can, and he goes, uh, and he, he sprays it on his feet, like he holds up his feet, and he sprays on this like black glowing substance. Right. Okay, and uh, all the kids are like, whoa, and everybody's loving it, right? And he's like, uh, you spray it on, and you never have to worry about untied shoes again. You know what I mean? It's just spray on. And then everybody's like cheering or clapping. And then this bully kid, like this big bully kid gets up and he goes, uh, well, how are you going to get him off, nerd? And then everybody goes, yeah. <laughs> and just starts laughing at him. It changes so fast. Oh, wait, what? Bye. <laughs> how are these kids just so okay with? Oh, yeah. so okay. They, already, they already processed spray on shoes to the point where it was old to them. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and then, well, then he realizes he can't take them off, right? So he starts panicking. And, he, and he's trying to get these off his feet, and he can't get them off. Yeah. Okay? And then uh, the bully kid gets up, and he goes, what a freak. He wants to be smart. That's lame. <laughs> That's so funny. So uh, he, he runs out, like, out of the school, and he's crying in the rain. Right. right. And he goes, uh, the voiceover comes back, and he goes, I wanted to run away that day, but you can't run away from your own feet. <laughs> 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 Yo, there's a million thousand jokes in this movie. There's a okay. million trillion fucking jokes. And, and they're all silly. They're all just silly. Non-stop. It's like, yeah, it's I like, like that. Not, it's like 30 rocks. Machine gun. Yeah, they just yeah. don't stop. Uh, I missed a billion. I couldn't keep up. It was hard to type. You oh, know I what I mean? That. It was one I of those. That. I was like, I, I got I to just pick which ones that which I, ones I like really, and yeah. I got to keep going. Well, not even like because I like, you know, it's just like uh, that one, uh, this one. <laughs> yeah, the funnier ones. Yeah, even well, some of the, it's just it's too many. It's one of those where it's like joke. Every sentence is a joke. So it's like fucking fuck. It's hard to write it all down. That's you know, great. this one That's was great. hard to write, That's even great. though it was a short movie. I'm ex- I'm happy after two hard movies, we get a nice, we get a funny one. Yeah. So he runs out in the rain, and, uh, and so he 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 gets home, and uh, his dad. Or you see his dad, and his dad literally, literally, just there, he has no eyes, no mouth. He literally just has eyebrows, like a thick ass unibrow, and those are his eyes. <laughs> and then he has a huge mustache. And that's his mouth. Okay. 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 <laughs> so uh, the dad is outside of his room and he says something about uh, how sardines aren't meant to swim uh, upstream. 
And then he goes, uh, I don't understand fishing metaphors, Dad. Like from the other side of the room. Well, that's, a, that's a crazy thing to tell your kid. Yeah. You're just a sardine. Yeah, well, you'll see in a second. Okay. okay? Uh, so the mom, everything in this movie is crazy. So the mom <laughs> comes in, right, and she's all sweet. And she says to just be perseverant like his heroes on the wall. And he has a, he has a wall full of all these, like, like Albert Einstein, all the scientists, right? Mm. And then uh, she goes, I was going to save this for your birthday, but... Here you go. And then she hands, she gives him a lab coat and it's like way too big. So he's like this little body in this humongous lab coat. Right. Right. And he freaks out. He's like, oh my God. Right. He's freaking out. And then she says, she knows how he's going to be big someday. And, uh, you know, just to believe in himself, blah, blah, blah. And so he's like, okay. And then he paints a picture of himself, like a little kid, like a drawing. And uh, it says, greatest inventor ever. Right. And he puts it on the wall and he looks at it. And then he runs off mm -hmm. into the backyard and he goes up to his like treehouse. And it's like a lab, like a pretend lab, right? right? And you see him like working on shit. And then uh, he goes, and I vowed that day to invent something great, right? So the next shot I is- I mean, spray on shoes is pretty great. Don't come off. Yeah, uh, well, you know, you just <laughs> work on that a little bit. For the rest bit. of your life. Does he have the shoes for the rest of his life? They don't come off. <laughs> Bro, this movie's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I was just about to be, I'm glad you asked. The montage now, the next scene is, is of him like growing up, trying to invent things, right? Yeah. And it's just like, shot of trash. So it's like remote control TV. And then the TV just turns into a robot and leaves That's like funny. and runs for freedom. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> and the TV, you see the rest of the movie, by the way. I'm not going to bring it up because it's just too many jokes, but the TV, you see like out and about doing TV shit. Just doing TV. <laughs> Throughout the whole movie, okay? But I, I'm not going to bring this up. Just a background yeah, character. It's just a background character. Okay, that's fine. But I forgot, I'm glad I should tell him that now because I'll forget. Uh, <laughs> so he goes, a uh, hair on Balder. He squirts it on his dad's head and then his dad like grows all the hair out of his face like a monkey mm -hmm. and like freaks out. He's like, ah, right? And then he goes, a uh, monkey translator. And now he's like a teenager. Right. All right. So now he's like older, but the shoes are still on. Okay. Right. It's like monkey translator. And then he puts a translator thing like on a monkey's head, a little monkey. And the monkey just goes hungry, 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 hungry. And just goes crazy. And just tries to try to eat everything. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, so he, he keeps doing this. And then like he, the last one, he goes, uh, he like, there's one like, it's like a uh, flying car and it crashes. Cause it, th there's just, there was, it was just a car. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. And then he goes rat birds. And then it's literally rat birds. Oh god! It's a why species would, of rat birds. Why would anybody want that? He, like they they try to eat them, and then he releases them, and they 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 scurry oh, off god. into the city. What? A, yeah. So the rat birds and the TV are now in the city. The city. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> even as a even as a dumb teenager, I don't think I'd be like people want this. People, people, people want, want this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> people see rats and like I wish that had wings. <laughs> wings, dude, and they're like colorful. It's so funny. Uh, oh my god! So he goes my back to voiceover. He goes, my dream was to help my home my hometown, a small town called Swallow Falls. You never noticed it because it's under the A in the word Atlantic Ocean. Uh, so it's a small little island, right? Uh, okay. And he goes, we're famous for for, uh, for sardines. That was until the day the factory closed down because everyone in the world, everyone in the world realized sardines are super gross. <laughs> <laughs> he said, so the town was stuck eating all the sardines the world didn't eat. Oh, God. <laughs> and we lived like this for years, right? And then you see that everybody's eating sardines like all gross. And he's like, but when all seemed lost, I stared at defeat. And found hope. Epic music, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Oh wow! Okay, that this was the intro. Great. This is great. <laughs> this is a great yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh my god. Seen this in a million times. Yo, if I was able to guess this, there's something wrong with me, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been crazy. Yeah. That would have been crazier than you guessing get, like gravity. Yeah, if I was able to get yeah. If I was able to get any of this right, I have serious issues. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. So, <laughs> some dope music's playing. Uh, just dope, they, to be in the writer's room for this must have been so, so much, much fun. fun. There's a million yeah. jokes. Uh, when there's when you can constantly throw out jokes. Mm -hmm. So they, he still has the, they he's older now, you know, the and they show a shot of the shoes. Right. right and they've just grown on but, his feet. That's so funny. <laughs> He goes, my name is Flint, uh, Flint Lockwood. Okay. Oh. Yeah, right? Yeah. Daddy, shout out. Shout out to uh, Matt Daddy Lockwood. His lab, and he's in his lab, right? And his lab's amazing. He's this cool fucking dope ass lab, like Dexter's Laboratory type shit. Right. And uh, he goes, I'm about to invent a machine that turns water into food. And then his monkey right next to him, he's like, Steve, Steve. And then uh, he goes, my best friend and most trusted colleague, Steve. And it's the monkey from earlier. It's right? funny. <laughs> and he goes, uh, Steve, in a robot voice again. He just keeps saying it. <laughs> and then uh, it cuts back to him and he goes, buttons, memory. And he's doing all this shit. Access, blueprints. Like, and it's like quick shots, right? Right. 
And he goes, uh, awesomeness. And it's like just a shot of him like flexing. Yeah. And he goes, cool enhancements. Uh, he's like, cool enhancements, complete. Engaging coffee break. And then it's, it's just him and Steve <laughs> sipping coffee. Right? And he goes, power grid. And it's just like so many facets. It's like a bunch just of Just naming like, things. Yeah, yeah. And it's showing him like plugging in stuff for like way too long. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. And then he goes, uh, beginning conversion of water into food. Oh, also and, terrible idea. Right. And he goes, uploading cool machine voice, cheeseburger. <laughs> and then he holds his hand out like under the machine. The machine's like, mm, like powering up. Right. And then he goes, and, and it's making all this crazy noise. And then boom, the house shuts down. And then you hear his dad go, Flynn. He's like, sorry, dad. Right. Same. Okay. So next shot of his, is him running out of his lab. Right. And he's like. He's made all those cool, like, you know, those sliding doors when you run out of a lab? It's like, yeah, you yeah. gotta put another code, and then one goes, and then there's like spike ones, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So he has all those, but they're just bed sheets. And he's still, like, do, 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 do. <laughs> it's just a sheet. <laughs> That's funny. So he does that like three, three yeah. different ways. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? And he gets outside, and uh, he's, he's constantly making like cool noises with his mouth. He's like, do, 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 do. You know, like oh, this a weird dude, he's the weirdest dude ever. Yeah. And these like other three kids are up on a fence, like these little kids, like like ten year olds. He's a teenager. Yeah. They're looking at him and like, that's a weird dude. <laughs> One says that. So uh, he goes in the house, and his dad's like, "Son," because he's cutting back the power in the house. And he's mm-hmm. like, "Son, you thought maybe it's time to give up inventing?" And he goes, "No, why?" And then he cuts the power back on, right? Yeah. And he goes, um, "All the problems." And he goes, "Dad, listen, maybe." Maybe I invented a species of rat birds, but I got rid of all of them. And then right then a rat bird comes down and steals one of the kids. And the kid's like, ah! And they're like, Billy! Oh, my God. <laughs> and they're like, just play dead, Billy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Billy gets... <laughs> so these rat birds are fucking uh-huh. really in this. People. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're like really in this movie. Oh, my God. So that's the best. Like, Billy! <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, so... Uh, where, so the, the the dad goes, uh, he, he goes, Flint, you don't keep throwing your net where there's no fish. And he goes, come to work at the tackle shop with me. And he goes, no, dad, I'm so close. I just need more power, you know. And then he goes, uh, then I can cre- create like more food and you don't have to sell sardines. Mm-hmm. And you have to sell sardines, yeah. you know. And uh, he's like, oh, no more inventing, son. And he goes, dad, I know I could do this. And he looks at him and says, oh, mom would have believed in me. And then they both look sad. And then the voiceover, it's been 10 years since she died. Oh, right? And he goes, uh, and dad didn't understand me. And then right then his dad takes him to the tackle shop and, it, and he unveils a sign. And it says, Tim and Sons Bait and Tackle Shop. And the dad's like, and Flint's like, yay. Yeah, oh my God, you know? that sounds awful. That sounds awful. So they're inside the shop and uh, they're working. And then the TV's on and it's a commercial. And it goes, uh, and it's a little baby walking with a, like one of those red wagons that you walk with, like mm-hmm. as a baby, and it's filled with sardine, like sardine cans. And then another kid goes, "Look out, baby Brent!" And then baby Brent hits a like a little rock, and all the sardines fall. And he turns and he's like, "Uh oh!" Like that, like a baby, right? Yeah. So that plays. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what? Uh. Then right then after that, the mayor like cuts into the commercial and he goes, uh, he says how uh, you know. Swallow Falls, you know, we've had rough times, but sardine tourism is going to be the new thing, okay? Sardine tourism. I like the pivot. Yeah, and he said how he used all the may- all the people's tax money on it before you could even, before you said it was okay, so don't, so you know it's a good idea. <laughs> he said something like that. It's pretty good politics. Yeah, and then he, uh, he's like, we're going to unveil the new attraction today, so come on down, right? <laughs> so right then, uh, the bully kid from earlier, remember the bully kid? Yeah. From earlier, he walks in. And the bully kid from earlier is also Baby Brent from the commercial. Oh, wow. So he's like a child star in okay. this town. So he, everyone, like, knows him. Okay. Oh, and, and he's, he's the bully kid, He's right? an asshole. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's the best character in the movie. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I can only imagine. <laughs> so uh, he has two girls on his shoulders, right? That's amazing. And he comes in and he knocks, he immediately knocks over all the cans that Flint just stacked. Mm. And he's like, uh-oh. He's like a grown man now. Okay. He's like fat. And the whole the whole shop, everybody in the shop's like laughing and like yeah, laughing, yeah, yeah. right? And then Flint's looking at him like, I fucking hate this guy. Yeah, this <laughs> you know? guy. Yeah, this guy sucks. 
And then he goes. It's funny uh, that he has just all the girls. So he brags about how he's like, just so you guys know, I'm going down to cut the ribbon layer. Mayor invited me, and he has these huge scissors, like these huge gold scissors. Mm-hmm. And then uh, he, and then he's like, he's bragging. And then Flinch is looking at him, and he leaves. And he's like, yo, fo- uh, swallow falls forever. Woo! And then he like leaves the shop, right? And Flinch just like looking at him. The voice of this guy is Andy Samberg. Okay. So it's and he's yelling like that Parks and Rec character. Okay. So he's yelling, yelling the whole movie. The whole movie. That's great. He never lowers his voice. That's great. <laughs> so I love good. it. Already love it. So uh, the dad says, like, I'm thinking about going to that unveiling. And then uh, Flint's like, oh, yeah, you should go. I'll hold down the fort. And he's like, you sure about that? He's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he's like, oh. And he's all proud of him. He's like, what okay, are they unveiling so, again? Uh, they're unveiling sardine sardine uh, tourism. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so they can get the town back. Pop okay, it. okay. How do you unveil sardine tourism? Uh, it's like, well, you'll see. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, what? Is it like sardine land? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it is sardine land. <laughs> so, okay. So the mayor says to Baby Brent, he, he's talking to Baby Brent now. He's like, I want to be big, and he's like, he's like holding the chains of sardine land, right? And he's like, I want to be big, and he's saying it all evil. He's like, I want to be the biggest mayor ever. He's like, I want people to see me and just go, wow. That's one big mayor. <laughs> <laughs> so, baby Brent, baby Brent, right? He has always been, he, goes, he looks at baby Brent and he goes, baby Brent, you've always been like a son to me. And he rolls his eyes. He's like, we need this unveiling to go great, you know? Mm-hmm. And then right then, uh, you see Flint is running to get his machine, like to the power grid of the city, right? And he's right. running with his machine. And right then a cop stops him. And he goes, uh, Flint Lockwood. And it's Mr. T. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. And he goes, where are you going? Wow. And he, <laughs> and he goes, uh, uh, fuck. nowhere. And he goes, you up to something? And he goes, uh, and, and he goes, no, I'm not. And he goes, you see over there, Flint Lockwood? And he points over and he's like, that's Cal. And it's his little son from earlier, the little kid that was like, that guy's weird. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and then the little kid's like, what's up? Right? And he goes, I love him so much. It's my only son. I would do anything, anything for him. And I want him to have a bright future. Not one where you destroy the whole town, Flint Lockwood. And he's like, God, I'm holding him. Yeah. All right? And so uh, right then it cuts to a news station. Okay? And a guy says how uh, they, they need someone to go to Swallow Falls. Right? And, uh, and, and like report on this new thing that they're about to unveil. Right? Right. And he goes, why don't you send the intern? She's like cute and perky and then a guy goes well that's all we look for in a weather girl anyway and he goes hey intern how would you like to go uh, cover a small rinky dink town in nowhere for nothing and then she's like yes yeah. it's Anna Ferris. hey okay yeah so now she's driving out of uh, New York to this town and uh, she's like Manny can you believe it and this little Mexican guy next to her and she's like talking not driving the wheel so he's just holding the wheel like driving that's the whole funny time. and yeah. yeah he's just calm just constant jokes bro like that yeah. just, they, they don't stop and uh and he's calm as shit. And she's telling him how, like, you know, this is going to be great and spark her career and blah, blah, blah. She's so excited. And she goes, hello, America. I'm Sam Sparks. Hey, America. Sam Sparks here. And she's, like, just practicing her monologue over and over, right? Right. right. So Flint is now sneaking up to the town's power source. <laughs> and he sees it all. And it's, like, this huge, like, you know, all the big electric things. Like, dzz, dzz. And he's, like, this is a great idea. Okay? <laughs> to turn water into food. What a. Bro. <laughs> what a dumb idea. <laughs> So the anchor guy, right, is like he's talking. He's like, "All right, now we're gonna send it to you know uh, our new uh, weather girl, Sam Sparks, down in uh, Sm- uh, Swallow Falls. How's it going, Sam?" And then uh, she goes, "Hello." Mm-hmm. Uh, she goes, "Hello, Sam Sparks. I'm America." And she goes, uh, and then she just deflates yeah. immediately, like, <laughs> and then she goes, uh, "Here's the mayor," <laughs> and then it goes to the mayor, and he's like, "The mayor's like, uh, hello, everyone." Uh, Wait, they sent a weather girl to unveil yeah. Sardine Land? Yeah. <laughs> what? Because they just needed an intern to go they do it because they yeah. were like, it's, it's, it's not, we don't yeah, want to send anybody. It's Sardine Land. So uh, they show, like, she goes, here's a mirror. And then they cut back to Flint and he's like electrocuting himself trying to set up the device. Right. And then, uh, and then it's back to the mirror and he's like, and here's Swallow Falls' favorite son, Baby Brent. And then Baby Brent comes out in a diaper, this big fat grown man. <laughs> And he's like, and he knocks over a bunch of, and he's like, uh oh, and the town goes crazy. Ah, uh, he's like little Sebastian. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. So right then, Mister uh, the Mister T cop, he's like, my chest hair is a tingling, and his chest hair start bouncing. Yeah. And he goes, uh, and he starts looking around, 
And then right then, the mayor goes, the attractions everyone has been waiting for, you know, Sardineland. And he uh, he goes, he unveils a shitty uh, amusement park and he's like, says all the bullshit rides. Huh. And then he goes, and also with uh, the big unveiling of Shamo, the world's largest sardine. And in this gigantic tank is this little itty bitty. Uh, <laughs> like the tank can hold, hold definitely Shamu. Shamu for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's just a sardine. <laughs> and he goes, uh, and watch Shamu jump through the uh, through the ring of death. But don't get, uh, but make sure you're sitting in the splash zone or you'll get wet, right? And then it's the splash zone is just one part. It's one seat. And it says the splash zone. Uh, 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 <laughs> Funniest joke to be in the whole movie, bro. The splash zone is just one, one guy, and there's one guy going, woo! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Flint sets up the food machine, and it's almost working, right? And it's about to, like, it's, it's like, nee, it's powering up. And then the Mr. T cop is sprinting at him, like, full speed. And he's like, Flint Lockwood! It's like, just a second, just a second! And then it cuts on, right? And then it takes off like a rocket. And now it's, like, beaming him across town, like, ruining everything. You know, like a gun, and then uh, uh, it cu- it cuts to the Sam Sparks girl, and she's like, uh, "Well, it looks like things in Swallow Farm. It looks like things in Swallow Falls are sardines to get better." Uh. <laughs> and right then he hits the camera and knocks it on her face. Yeah, and then the guy back at the thing is like, "Whoa, look at your face!" Like laughing at her. Right? Yeah, and then he's still bouncing across town, and then it slow mo's him like. Like he's he's holding onto the machine as he's bouncing, and then it cuts into slow motion as he goes across his dad, and his dad just looks at him like disappointedly, like, like in slow motion, <laughs> and he like sees that. <laughs> so uh, it finally, and then finally he lets go, and it shoots into the clouds, right, mm-hmm. into the machine, and then uh, Mr. T grabs him. He's like, "You're under arrest, Flint Lockwood." He's like, "Thank goodness you only caused minimal damage to Sardine Land." And then right then, of course, Sardine Land collapses. Uh, and then the big shamo thing just starts rolling and now it's destroying everything and everybody's screaming ah and they're running away from it right because it's huge it's like it could kill people yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. and then like it's rolling and it's rolling and then finally it gets shot up in the air right it gets shot up in the air and then shamu gets out of it and he's like yippee and he starts falling into the ocean and then a rat bird eats him <laughs> <laughs> so the big glass thing is now spinning in the air yeah. right oh my god wow and why it, the fuck this up and it flans on directly on Flint and Steve like where like it's covering them okay so now the town comes and surrounds it and they're just yelling at him like Flint Lockwood look what you did bro and he's looking and the sad music starts playing and then he makes eye contact with his dad and his dad's just looking at him you know and he's like and then right then everybody turns away. And right when everybody turns away, the glass starts shattering. And then it breaks all around him. And he looks at everybody and he just runs away. Seen it. Well, you know, can't say he didn't have it coming to him. He deserved that one. Yeah, he deserved that one. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Jeez, just wait till after the unveiling. Why you gotta do it at the, at the you know? Clearly. Yeah. It's the, it's the only time the news is probably ever there. <laughs> Definitely. In, in Swallow Falls. Yeah. Under the A. That's so funny that it's under the under A. Under the A. How did she get she, she, How did she get there? Oh, they take a, like, so it shows her driving from New York, and then it shows her on a, uh, like a. A ferry? Ferry. Okay. okay. I was like, God damn, I couldn't think of it. I was about to say, not a boat, but a boat. Not a boat, but, but a boat. boat. And you guys know what I mean. Yeah, for <laughs> taboo. I think that's how you would describe a ferry. <laughs> not a boat. <laughs> but a boat. <laughs> We're killing that. Uh, <laughs> so he looks, he's now uh, like under the, he's like at a pier and he's like under it though. Yeah. And he's looking at himself in the water and he's just like, oh, he's down on himself. And then he hears footsteps up top, right? And then you see a microphone like get flung into the ocean. Yeah. And it's the Sam Sparks girl. Right. And then she sits down like immediately and just her feet go right in his eyeballs. And he's like, ah! <laughs> And she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's just pain. (laughs) (laughs) It's just pain. Yo, and she goes, "Ah, my whole career was ruined by some crazy idiot riding a rocket. And then Flint looks up at her real scared. And she goes, wait a minute. What's on your feet? (laughs) And then he goes, "Uh, spray on shoes. And she goes, Oh my God. And he goes, yeah, but they don't come off. And she goes, it's so cool. And she goes, this could solve the untied shoes epidemic. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> and then she goes, what is it made out of? And he looks at her and he like starts falling in love. Like, like the uh, shot when somebody's falling in love. Yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. The that. rosiness. And yeah, the- yeah, yeah. And then uh, she pretends to like, she says all the things that it could possibly be made of. And then she, he looks at her like, <gasps> and then she goes, uh, I mean, 
it's shiny like a dumb girl and he's like he looks at her right mm-hmm. and then she goes she looks at the monkey she goes oh wow a monkey translator and then he goes steve <laughs> and then she goes did you make all of this and then she stops she goes you hit me with the rocket and he goes well you kick me in the face and then right then mustard falls from this guy right and they look and then a pickle falls from this guy and then something lands in the trash can and then they go look at it and it's a piece of cheese and then a rat bird goes and then like flies off with it. It's funny. Oh my God, that's crazy how much they're in Dude, this. They're, oh, the whole movie, the uh, rat birds are in this. Okay. The TV too, but I forgot because I was so focused on the rat birds. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the rat birds, that was exactly what happened. You release those in the wild. They're just rat birds they're, everywhere now. Oh, dude, they're just out. Yeah, there's no predators for them. <laughs> there's nobody's eating the rat birds. Yeah. Uh, so he, like, uh, he, they they look up. So right then, like, the, the rat bird, like, flies out. And then uh, Flint goes, oh. <gasps> That could only mean, and then epic music starts playing, and he looks up and he goes, oh, and then it cuts to Sam, and she goes, oh, and then Steve goes, Steve, <laughs> right, and then and then it goes to every single person in the town, <laughs> bro. This is like three minutes. <gasps> <gasps> it's the funniest shit, and then the last one is just a rapper. <gasps> <laughs> And then a big shot of a colorful cloud. Yeah. And it's raining uh, cheeseburgers. As epic music plays. Oh, Just cheeseburgers falling out the sky in slow motion. And then Steve's going, excited, 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 the monkey. Yeah. And then uh, Flint like laughs and he catches one and he takes a bite and he goes, the machine works, right? And then uh, Sam goes, so this is your machine? And he goes, do you like it? And she goes, I love it. She goes, this is the greatest phenomenon known to history. And then he goes, Aren't you a weather girl? And she goes, oh, Manny, get your camera, right? And then it cuts back to the anchor guy. Mm-hmm. And then he goes, This just in. Our humiliated weather intern is back for more, apparently. Bro, the anchor is the meanest. As a misogynist dick. He's such yeah, a, yeah, he's yeah, awesome. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> and then she goes, oh, Thanks, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> She goes, you won't believe this one. I'm standing in a burger rain. You may have seen a meteor shower, but you've never seen a shower meatier than this. And oh, she takes damn. a bite. Oh, damn. What a line. What a line. I love it. She said she's going to do a bu- that a bunch, huh? Mm-hmm. That's oh, great. Yeah. And so people start yelling. Uh, people are just eating the burger and yelling, uh, this tastes significantly better than sardines. Oh, my God. It's not sardines. <laughs> people just yelling this <laughs> in the town. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this movie's so fucking funny. Yeah, dude, this sounds hilarious. So the mayor says, uh, so the mayor's eating it right, and he's like, this will be big. You know, and he eats like three burgers at once, and he's just so happy. And then uh, Mr. T, he wants to arrest like Flint Lockwood, and he got him down. And then the people uh, are run up, all run up to Flint as he's about to arrest him, and he goes, they're like, Flint, can you make it rain food again? Because it stops raining. And then uh, he's like, oh, uh, and then he sees Sam's eyes, and he, she's like, please. And he looks at her, and he goes, yes. And then he runs home, right? Mm-hmm. And right when he gets home, his pops is standing in front of the machine, and he goes, no. And he's like, uh, Dad, come on, let me in. And he goes, cheeseburgers from the sky is not natural, son. And then he That's goes, fair. Uh, he goes, come on, Dad, please. And he's like, son, this was an accident. Do not, do, do not uh, you know, go further into this. And then he goes, uh, come on, Dad, please. Uh, he's like, my invention could save the town. And plus, there's a girl here. <laughs> And then the dad looks, and he's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, well, can you look me in the eye and tell me everything is under control, and this won't end in disaster? It's just a unibrow. Just a unibrow and a mustache. <laughs> and so now Flint is like, both his eyes are like, looking this way. And it takes him forever to get like this one to look. And then like... This one finally looks, and he goes, everything's under control, and it won't end in disaster. (laughs) (laughs) And then, uh, so the dad walks away, Mm -hmm. and then, uh, so he looks at Sam, and he goes, so this is where the magic happens. And then he opens the door to his lab, and it's like a porter potty door. That's how you get into his lab. Mm -hmm. Right? And so they take the elevator up, and it's, you know, his dope-ass lab, and then she goes, Wow. You spend a lot of time alone in here. And he goes, ha, 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 ha. And, like, <laughs> and so he shows her the machine, right? And then she she says, like, what it is, like, in a really smart way again. And she's like, uh, I mean, wow, food machine. And then he looks at her again, like, what the fuck? And so she says, he says how uh, 
they can make any food if they send a signal to the machine. And then she goes, she names a food, right? And then he's like, pizza. And he's like, oh, I love pizza. And he's like, what about peanut butter? And she's like, no, I'm, a, I have a, uh, I'm allergic to peanut butter. And he goes, oh, me too. And then uh, so she goes, what's it called? And he goes, a peanut allergy. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, no, the machine. I, I, and then he goes, oh, it's called the Flint Dynamic Super Extra. And then he says a bunch of other letters. And he was like, something machine. And she goes, oh, wow. And he's like, I call it the Flim Divider Fur Fur Fur. And she goes, what? And he goes, Flim Divider Fur Fur Fur. What? Flim Divider Fur Fur Fur. So Flim. And then he breaks it down. Flim Divider Fur 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 Fur. And she's like, oh, right. And then uh, he goes, uh, then Manny, like she goes, well, Manny, break out your camera. Uh, uh, Flint's going to make more food now. And he goes, well, I can't. And then she looks all sad. And then he goes, until I show you this hilarious internet video. And then he cuts on a video of like a cat DJ. Like, yeah, yeah. And she's like, oh, my God, <laughs> this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And her and Manny are just like looking at it, right? Uh, and so uh, while that's happening. He's doing, he's making another one. He's making another thing, right? And then uh, he he goes he goes uh, so he, he goes uh, pulling you know pouring taping turning painting and then he cuts back to him in his bedroom and he goes staring and then it goes to the picture that he drew as a kid and he goes motivating <laughs> <laughs> and then it cuts back to Sam and the Manny and she's like I can't believe I've been watching this three hours. <laughs> And then he cuts it off, and she's like, "Where am I?" <laughs> you know. And then he goes, "So what do you guys want for breakfast?" And then right, right then, Steve the monkey goes, "Gummy bears." He goes, "Steve, no, you know how you are with gummy bears." And then he's like, "Dead serious." And he goes, "All right, what do you guys want for breakfast?" And then they're like, uh, "How about bacon?" And he goes, "Yeah," and then orange juice, and then toast, and they look no, and then they look at each other, and then they go, "And more bacon, right?" And then he goes, and then they put it in the machine, and. He, uh, he, he like, oh, no, they go more bacon. And then right then he goes to kiss her. And then she goes, what are you doing? And he goes, ah, nothing. And then he goes, uh, so he goes to put it all in. And she goes, you're sure this is safe, right? And he laughs. And he goes, don't worry. I have a danger meter. And it lets me know if the food over mutates. And it's like, it's in the green, right? And it has, you know, to the red. Right. And he goes, uh, she goes, so what happens if, what what will happen if it does over mutate? And he goes, don't worry. It'll never happen. <laughs> okay. He goes, all right. Now he goes, all right, let's hope this doesn't explode. And she goes, what? And then he hits the button. That's fine. <laughs> and then it goes, the machine goes, bacon, right? And it's like, Zzz, and it sends it to this guy. And then this guy is like shaking, right? And then right then, on the it cuts to her on the weather channel. And she goes, uh, we have a bacon front coming in. And my forecast today is sunny, side up, right? And then right then, music starts playing. And everyone runs outside with plates. Yeah. And the song starts. And it's like, sunshine's a lollipop's in. Something. It's like a really kind of creepy song, right? A really kind of creepy song? Really kind of creepy. Okay. And then you see the mayor just outside eating like a monster, okay? And he grabs him and he goes, flip, my boy. He goes, uh, you keep, he's like, I had an idea. You keep making snack And then uh, he goes, I'm going to rebuild the tourism part of the town. You know, the sardine land where we'll make it like, a, we'll make it food land. And he goes, and then you just make it rain food three days, uh, three, uh, three, three meals uh, every day, three meals a day for the foreseeable future. And then he's like, uh, okay. Flint's like, all right. And then he goes, and in 30 days, we're going to hold a grand new reopening of the new uh, destination spot for our town. And then everybody, uh, and he goes, and everyone everywhere was going to love your invention. And Flint's like, oh, you think so? And he's like, I know so. So the music cuts back on now, and now it's a little faster. Sunshine's a lollipop. Sun, nah, 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 right? And then the they show the town, and the gas station has now turned into an anti-gas tablet station. Right, uh, the sardine shops have turned into like turkey leg shops and like all these different kinds of food shops. Of foods, yeah. yeah, and uh, uh, so and then now people are asking him like it's cuts of people going like, Mister Lockwood, can I please have waffles, uh, jelly beans, falafels? You know, like people are saying that. And then he's like, uh, not a problem. And it's sunshine, and it's getting and faster. And it just like, keeps on like, uh -huh. so, okay, so that's why it's creepy. So yeah. Like, so it gets, okay. So, uh, oh, God, that's like weird. So the food's landing, and they're like, uh, and then it's the Sam Sparks. She goes, leftover food, not a problem. And then it's uh, it's like this big catapult. Not with, uh, she goes, not with Flint Lockwood's new invention that makes food, that sends food out of sight and therefore out of mind. And it's just catapulting the food out of the town. You don't know where it's going. Okay. <laughs> So 
the song is now getting a little fast. Sunshine, la, 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 you know? Yeah. And uh, people keep requesting shit. And now the shit requests are getting fucking crazy, you know? And people are just not stop requesting stuff. And uh, the last one, and the town completely changes. And, like, it's all just food places now. Right. And the mayor is just now the it's now a big guy. And he goes, I want a pizza stuffed inside a turkey leg. Oh, and everyone's, uh, deep getting, fried. Fa- everyone's getting fatter? Yeah. No, no, just it's, this one guy's crazy. Uh, uh. He's like, deep fried. And I want it all dipped in chocolate. And Flint's looking at him. And then he goes, it's me, the mayor. Because the mayor was a really tiny guy. Yeah. You know, yeah. Now he's huge. huge. Like 800 pounds. Oh, he's like seven feet. He's humongous. You know what I mean? And he goes, oh, I'm sorry, mayor. Oh, I didn't recognize you. You look different. He goes, yeah. Got a haircut. <laughs> so the danger meter is now close to the yellow and the song fades out. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the next day, the Mr. T, no, the, he, he stops by his dad's shop. And he, he goes, uh, hey, Dad, I'm heading back to the lab. Dad sells a tackling bait shop. Mm-hmm. And he goes, uh, you want to come with me to see how the food works? And he goes, oh, no, that high-tech food, it ain't for me, son. Uh, but I could use some help around the shop if you don't mind. And he goes, no, Dad, I'm working with the mayor now. Don't you understand? And then he leaves, right? He's like, we got a reopening in a week. And then he leaves. And the son's like, and the dad's like, okay. And he got And he just keeps working by himself. So it cuts to him in the lab, right? And then Mr. T is knocking on his door, the cop. And he goes, it's Flint Lockwood. And he goes, yeah. He's like, tomorrow is my son Cal's birthday. And it would mean so much to me if you could make, make it rain something special for him. Uh, I'm a little backed up on requests, and you're always mean to me. He goes, I know, uh, but he's my only special son, and it means so much if you could just make it rain, uh, make it rain just something special for him, please. It's my special angel's day. And he goes, I don't know, man. I don't want to overwork the machine. And he goes, I just wanted to see, okay, I just wanted you to know, I just wanted him to know how much I loved him. And he goes, Earl, wait. And he checks the danger meter and he flicks it and it goes back into the green. And then he walks away and it goes crazy more into the yellow. And he's like, oh, don't worry. I have a special idea for him tomorrow, right? So the next morning, Cal, the little kid wakes up and there's just ice cream everywhere. Like it's snow and it, like it's snowing still, but it's all different flavors of ice cream. Oh, that's dope. So badass. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. So I, would love to live in that. I would love to live in that world. Oh my God. Oh God. Just ice cream world. Oh. So <clears throat> everywhere is snow, ice cream. Right. And he's like, dad. And he's like, happy birthday, son. It's your day. Go have fun. And then all the kids run out and they're going crazy, right? And they're eating it all and they're playing with it. And then Cal and the Mr. T kid, they're playing. And he's like, oh, I love you, son. And he's like, I know, dad. You tell me every this day. This guy's going to get killed by a rat bird or some shit. You tell me every day. Oh, yeah. and, <laughs> and so the Flint sees this and he's smiling, right? He's happy. And then uh, Sam goes, this is amazing, Flint. How are you going to top this? And he goes, I don't know. Maybe with hot fudge. <laughs> and nobody laughs. And everybody's looking at him. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, hey, Flint, you want to have a snowball fight? And then he goes, what? And then she's looking at him. She's like, do you not know what that is? And then he goes, no, I don't know. What are the rules? He's like, is it a point system or is it to the death? And she's like, no, it's just a snowball fight. You just throw it and have fun. And then he grabs one and he throws it kind of weak. And he's ah, like that. And she's like, no, throw it hard. And then he smiles and he just starts beaming everyone in the town. And he's like, snowball, snowball, snowball. And then, bro, he this scene is so long, he breaks into people's houses. <laughs> and they're like watching TV, people in their showers, and he's like fucking them up. <laughs> what scene? Okay, what? Well, this is funny. One of my, my favorite, probably my favorite scene in the movie. And then uh he's just beaming everybody, right? Yeah. And then uh Sam, it's back to Sam on the news, and she tells the entire world that the to come to the Saturday opening for the town uh, because uh, for the town that rains food, you're not going to want to miss this. And they play it all over the world, right? So Flint's sitting in bed and he's thinking. And he's just thinking and then he goes, ah! And then he goes, researching, role-playing, right? And then he goes, dialing. I wait. Like, that's a good character. Oh, it's so funny. Waiting. It's so funny. Waiting. And then Sam, she goes, hello? Hanging up. Regretting. Regrouping. <laughs> Calling again? And she goes, hi, Sam here. And then he goes, hi, Sam, it's Flint Lockwood. How are you doing? Oh, that's well. And he's just like reading off the thing, like not letting her answer. Mm. He goes, I was wondering if you'd like to go on a date activity with me tomorrow. And she's like, uh, yes. He's like, awesome, meet me in the forest. And he hangs up and he's like, success. <laughs> so they're walking. No, no, no. So he tells, uh, he goes, all right, bye, Steve. I'm going, I'm heading out. Uh, let me know if you need anything. And then Steve's like, Steve. And the danger meter gets really bad. Okay, so they just walk in time for the premiere. That's just dope. in time. 
So they walk through a field. You, you would think as soon as it got to yellow, you'd be like, how do I stop this? Come on. Right? You, right? But at a certain point, I guess you can't you can't logically break down this movie, though. It's like, what are you what are you really doing if you're trying to be like, hey, what are your motives, Flint? What are you like? What do you do? Like, <laughs> you can't really shit on this it movie. It's hard to shit on this. Yeah, it's, it's a, really hard. It's to put shit itself on it. in an unassailable position of like, oh, everything is just dumb and stupid. It's like the Lego Movie or something. Yeah, where you're like, where you're like, you can't break this movie down. What are you <laughs> out of your mind? We're so out of our mind for doing this. Yeah, yeah. We're like, I was like, this is a weird movie. Like, this is a weird movie for this podcast because I can't. A weird movie for yeah, I can't really riff on it because it's just riffing on itself. Yeah, it's just funny and it's yeah. funny. So it's yeah. like I don't know. <laughs> what, I don't know where to shit on it either. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to, and I'm like, I don't know where to find the holes. Yeah. It'd be really <laughs> weird to look for them. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like what do you like? How bad of a, a person point. you have to be if you're at the movie theater breaking this movie down and being like, what? so it's raining food? meatballs. This is stupid. Yeah, what? That's not possible. It's also, tell me I had that's the same guy who's like, cars and the robots. This is dumb. Yeah, same <laughs> this guy. Is Michael Bay. Hey, yeah, yeah. this is what this is. This, yeah, this is. This is. This was actually pretty good. Yeah, this, uh, is, the, <laughs> this is the most what it is movie. Yeah. yeah, like it's just, it's 100% in its world. Oh, for sure. They don't yeah. break it either. I yeah, love I that. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. They, uh, so he's walking through a field now. Like right? he doesn't break character. He's this, Never. He's yeah. this weird manic energy guy. Yeah, but it's funny. Time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's funny because he's, a good guy, but he's like just bad at it. Just bad at being a good guy. Yeah, he's bad at being a good he's guy. He's bad at being really a good guy. Good I like that character as a lead. Yeah. A guy who's bad at being a good guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so they walk through a field, and uh, she's like, "Where are we going?" And he's like, "Well, uh, I thought we could go on a, ro- a walk as friends." And she's like, "Oh, well." She's like, "Well, what's that?" And he's like, "Uh," and it's a, they pan over, it and it's a humongous Jello mansion we made of Jello, right? And he goes, "Well, you never made a request, so I made one for you." And then he goes, uh, she goes, oh, Jello's my favorite. And then he goes, uh, and he goes inside the Jello, and she's like, oh. and then he puts his hand back out, and he's like, join me. And then he pulls her in, and then the inside is set up like the inside of a mansion mm-hmm. with all these like stuff with her face on it, but out of Jello. <laughs> and she's like, how did you? And he tells her really fast how he did it, and then he's like, oh, no big deal. And it's like a crazy thing, right. you know. And then uh, she says. You know, he says how it's all, you know, dope, blah, blah, blah. And then she goes, come on, Sam, what are you waiting for? And she's looking and she's like, nothing. And then they start bouncing around and jumping around and eating it all and having fun. And then they, uh, he does, she goes like cannonball into a jello pool. And he's like, belly flop. And then he's like, oh, why did I do that? And he screams uh, uh, in pain. Uh, 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 uh. So they're sitting and they're staring at a sunset. Right. And he goes, uh, so jello. And she goes, uh, and she says all the science stuff it's made out of. And then she apologizes and goes, uh, I mean, it moves. And he goes, why do you do that? And then she goes, what? And he goes, say something smart. And then you act like you're dumb. And she goes, can you keep a secret? And he goes, no. And she looks at him and he goes, but for you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, uh, well, a really long time ago, I too was a, I too was a, a nerd and she goes like this and he goes two <laughs> bro so funny uh, to not know he's a yeah. nerd is funny and so it flashback to her being a little girl mm-hmm. and she had glasses and a ponytail and she says all I wanted to do was be a weather person with a Doppler 400 machine right and she goes and all the kids they made fun of me with this song that wasn't even that clever it was just you know and then it was the little kids and they were like four eyes four eyes you need glasses to see <laughs> and then Flint's dying laughing <laughs> He starts dying laughing. Yeah, that's really funny. That's really funny for a kid to do. And so, uh, and then Flint stops. He goes, I'm sorry, go on. And then she goes, uh, so I got a new look and I gave up on all that smart stuff. And uh, I was never made fun of again. She's like, but technically I still need glasses to see. And he goes, I bet you look great with them. And then she goes, oh, stop. And he goes, oh, no. And then she goes, on they go. And then he puts them on her face, right? And then it's the shot of. The glass is coming on her face, so she can see him. So from her angle, it looks like he's really handsome. Yeah. Okay? And then the glasses come on, and then she sees what he really looks like. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just her. So handsome, and then you see him. She goes, whoa. <laughs> and he goes, what? She goes, ah. Ah, nothing. <laughs> I never noticed that joke until yesterday. I never noticed that joke. I've seen it so many times, and I was like, oh, my God. Wow. He's just, like, really good looking. That's really funny. <laughs> And he's just like Bill Hader in an animated face. <laughs> so Jesus. Oh, dude. So uh uh so he go he 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 tells her, like, oh my god, you know, he goes, You're just missing one thing, and then he makes a scrunchie out of jello and he puts it on her and he goes, Wow, 
beautiful. And she's like, really? And he's like, yeah. And she goes, oh, well, I can't go out like this. And he goes, why not? And she's like, it's the real you. He's like, smart and respectable. She's like, I've never met anyone like you, Flint Lockwood. He goes, me neither. And then he, she, they go in to kiss, and then his nose is too big, so he puffs up his like cheeks up because to get past his nose. And then she can't get him still, so she has to do it. And then right when they're about to kiss, he goes, Flint, you have a call. Flint, you got a call. And he goes, ah, it's the mayor. And then he falls out of the Jello house, right? And yeah. it's like a crazy long fall. <laughs> <laughs> You hear him screaming for a long time. Yeah. That's lands. funny that they both puff their cheeks instead of cocking their heads. Right? That's so funny. That's such a funny. <laughs> so he 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 uh he goes, Oh my God, from down. Like right, okay. like it's a good call. And then it's his dad waiting outside this restaurant called Bibbs, okay? Mm -hmm. And he goes, Dad, I'm so glad you came. And then he grabs him and then uh it cuts to the front of the line and it's baby Brent. And he goes, I should be on the list. I'm baby Brent, right? And then right then, Flint walks by, and he's like, oh, what's up, Greg? And the guy's like, hey, Flint. And he goes, you're letting that guy in? He's a nerd. <laughs> and then the door is closed. And then inside is like this really like club vibe, right? But right. everybody has like, there's no roof, and like food's falling from the sky, like on the plates. Right. But it's like a really nice vibe. And everyone's freaking out, like, oh, it's Flint. Hey, Flint, Flint. And they're dapping him up, and he's like, all cool. And they take him to like a private table. And then, uh... They take him to private table and then uh Is he still with is he still with the girl? Or? No, 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 it's just him and his dad. Now. Oh, just him and his dad. And uh it's, he goes, uh he goes, uh, his dad goes, uh, no roof, huh? And he goes, Nope. Uh, you just hold up your plate and I make I and I made him make it rain your favorite meat. And a big old steak falls, right? And he goes, uh anyway, hey dad, so the mayor tomorrow wants me to come to the big unveiling for the town, and he's gonna tell everyone that I saved the town and I'm a big hero. Aren't you proud of me? And he's like right in his dad's face. And his dad's like looking around and everybody has these huge steaks, and the stakes are getting bigger and bigger and they're falling. And he goes, uh, uh, these are really big stakes, son. And Flint's like, uh, yeah, dad, yeah, they're they're big stakes. Did you hear me? I'm a hero. And he's like, son, uh, Look around. I don't think this is good for people. And he's like, why can't you just be happy for me, right? And he starts freaking out. Yeah. And he's like, uh, uh, he's like, maybe, son, you should think about turning this machine off. And he goes, no, dad. It makes everyone happy. Everyone except you. And then he says how, uh, he's like, sorry that I'm not trying to be you and just work at some boring tackle shop. And the dad goes, okay, I'll get out of your way. And he leaves the dinner, and he goes to work in the tackle shop by himself. And the scene ends. Ooh. Yeah, it ends like that. Yeah, really Jesus. weird. Like, goes yeah. to black, too. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel bad for his dad. So Flint's walking home, and he's like, oh, there's no pleasing that guy. And it's raining hot dogs. And then the hot dogs start falling, and they are way too big. They're like the size of people now. Okay. And, and he knows, he's like, whoa. And then he scans one and he realizes the mutation and has go, gone crazy. Yeah. And he goes, Steve's like, yellow, yellow. And he goes, you're right, Steve. It's in the yellow, the danger meter. And he goes, uh, and then right then the mayor rolls in on like a little, like a fat person thing. Yeah. yeah. Scooter. And, yeah. And he goes, uh, he's eating like those giant hot dogs and uh, like with ice cream on it and all this other shit. And he tells him how uh, he isn't, he's like, you're not going to let me down tomorrow, are you, boy? And he goes, uh, he goes, hey, I want tomorrow, I want a crazy big pasta dish. And he says all this shit that he wants. And then Flint tells him about how like all the mutation stuff and it's bad and we should stop. And then he goes, all I heard is blah, blah, blah. Everyone's going to love these new portion sizes. And then he goes, I know I do. And he stuffs another hot dog in his mouth. And he goes, my dad thinks I should turn it off. And he goes, geniuses are never understood by their fathers. And he goes, uh, besides, who needs the respect of one family member when you can get the admiration of strangers? <laughs> God, that reigns wow. true in this city. <laughs> That's a very funny line. Yeah, dude. Like a oh good my line. God. I'd say that on stage if it wasn't already said. Yeah. Like, that's, that's amazing. That's really funny. Good so, Lord. These writers. Great. I mean, these yeah, writers are movies. yeah, these writers are unbelievable. So uh, he said, besides, uh, besides, uh, I always felt like you were a son to me, Flint. And he rolls around like in his chair and he goes, uh, he talks about how uh, he's going to save the town. He's like, or you could cut the machine and no one will ever like you. He goes, it's your choice, choice, choice. <laughs> the mayor's so funny, bro. Yeah, I like how this time, this town switches on a dime too because I oh. totally believe it. If you stopped at them, they would be like, oh, this guy sucks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, he goes, okay. He, the mayor, he's like, okay. And then he puts the crazy pasta dish in and the mayor's watching, licking his lips and he goes, bigger is better, right? And then he hits it. 
So the machine gets the order, it starts freaking out, and then people are now coming in off cruises, and uh, Sam Sparks is sitting in the truck, and then in a news truck, and she notices uh, the Doppler 4000 machine that she always wanted, mm-hmm. like, like he left it for her. And then uh, she smiles and notices and looks at it, and then it's going off, and she's like, oh, like it's bad. Mm-hmm. So the next scene, it goes to the mayor, and he goes, who's hungry? And it's that, like, it's the sound that Michael Jordan used to come out to, like that, dun, 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 like that. And then the people are going crazy, right? And then like, everybody's like, oh, my God, that's one big mayor. And then he goes, allow your kids to eat all they want junk food in junk town. He goes, uh, chill in the, nacho, in the nacho cheese dip. And the mayor's, like, talking about all the things, and the Flint's backstage, and he's, like, getting nervous, and he's getting ready. And then Sam runs up, and she's like, yo, Flint. The, something's wrong. The food is way too big. And then he closes her machine. And he goes, yeah, I know. Bigger portions. People love it. And then she goes, uh, no, no, no. I'm not sure we're doing the right thing. And he goes, oh, listen, people finally love me. Just go do some weather stuff somewhere. Ooh. And then she's like, and then they take the big scissors from baby Brent that he's had the whole movie. He's had them? Whole movie. Never let him go. And then they give him the flint and he freaks out. He goes, no, you can't take those. I'm baby Brent. I baby Brent. And he strips all his clothes off and he goes, uh oh. And he knocks stuff over. And then the whole town goes, boo, boo. And then he runs away and he goes, who am I? <laughs> Yo, Andy Sandberg, you killed that shit. Man. Uh, God damn. That's so funny. So people, uh, like, uh, Flint Lockwood, like there's music playing and, and people are cheering him and he's loving it, right? Mm-hmm. And he goes to cut the ribbon and he does. And right when he cuts it, uh, you hear Steve going, danger, danger, danger. And all the rat birds are like now flying south, like flying in a direction. That's funny. The rat birds are migrating. migrating so that's south. how you know something's about to happen. So he looks up, right? And he goes, I taste salt and pepper. And then right then oregano hits him in the face. And then he looks over and then a spaghetti and meatball tornado has now formed, right? And it is terrorizing everything. And he goes, mama mia. And then he goes, I can turn it off. And people are panicking and yelling, right? And he starts running through. It's a really cool shot of him running through all this carnage and shit. People are dying, getting hit by meatballs and shit. People are dying? I mean, they're getting hit by hard enough to die by these meatballs. Okay. That's funny. And uh, That's very violent. And he starts like jumping on cars into the tornado. Right. Right. It's really cool. And the tornado flims, like, flings him around. It flings him out, and he loses his coat. He's like, no! And then he like lands on a bunch of other cards and like climbs down a ladder and somehow lands right in front of his lap. It's like a really funny shot. Yeah, how yeah. He lands in front of his lap. And he goes, whoa, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then uh, so he, he, uh, he runs upstairs, and right then the uh, like uh, people are going back to the cruise ships, and he runs upstairs, and... Uh, Oh, Sam Sparks is also reporting the storm. Huh. And uh, the, <laughs> so right then, Sam's like, we have a crazy storm over here, Patrick. Things are not looking good. And he goes, whoa, 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 Sam, sorry to interrupt. I mean, we love a good storm over here, but <laughs> you look like a nerd. <laughs> she just looks so sad. Because she has glasses on. Uh... <laughs> and then, <laughs> so she keeps reporting, and then he keeps interrupting and shitting on her. Yeah. Like, nerd, like that, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, he gets, so he's in the lab, and the mayor is Who now, plays the? I don't know. Probably somebody should have looked it up. Yeah. So the mayor's now ordering a dinner, right? And uh, Flint tries to stop him. And then as he, the, uh, Flint's trying to stop the order, the mayor takes a radish and throws it at the machine. And it breaks the machine. And then he goes, you killed the machine. That was the only way to communicate with it. And he's like, oh, no. And he's like, mayor, what did you order? And he goes, just a Vegas all-you-can-eat style buffet. And then... The machine now looks like its own monster in the sky, and it's just shaking. It's so big. And then Mr. T uh, runs up, and he goes, help, help. And he's holding his son, and his son's, like, overdosed on food, like candy. And he's like, my son, it's my son. Is there anyone out there, a doctor? And then everybody's looking around, and the Manny, the cameraman, goes, I am a doctor. (laughs) And then she goes, really? You're a doctor? he goes, yes, in my home country of Guatemala. I moved to America for a better life. Pretty funny, yes? (laughs) And then right then he goes, this kid is in a food coma. I need celery, stat. And then they bring him a piece of celery and he snaps it in front of him and the kid goes, "Ah, ah." (laughs) right? So she tells uh, the entire world, like the the world news, right, is that the the storm is about to hit the world, right? Right. And she says how in four uh, hours, so she tells in four hours the the northern hemisphere will be one big potluck, okay? 
and the world gasps like, oh no. And then the, the dad finds Clint, uh, Flint's coat hanging in the street and he grabs it, right? And then he goes, and then he goes looking for him. And then he finds him inside of an oil drum outside of his lab, like a, in like a trash oil drum. Right. And he goes, what are you doing in here, son? He goes, hey, dad. He goes, uh, well, I just, I tried to help everyone out and I ruined everything. I'm junk. So I threw myself away like junk. And then he goes, and then he, he's, his son's dad's looking at him. He goes, mom was wrong about me, dad. And then he goes, when it rains, you put on a coat. And he drops it and then he walks off and then he goes, dad, I don't understand your fishing metaphor. <laughs> and he looks up and the coat's on the thing and he goes, oh, right? And he grabs it and he looks at it and he goes, Steve, we got DA to carp him. Yo, great line. <laughs> and right, so they, the music starts like getting intense. Yeah. And then uh, it's shots of him like running in slow mode. And he's like, kill code, downloading, forging, wiring, testing. Yes. And then he creates a thing and he's like, flying car two now with wings. Because during, I forgot, when the, uh, he was doing his first adventures. He did, oh, the flying car one, but it, it just ran. It was just a car. It was just a car. <laughs> so. Uh, the food keeps falling and destroying the town, right? And then Flint goes up and he goes, everyone, everyone, I just want to apologize. Uh, apologize, especially to you, Sam. He goes, uh, he goes but he's like, I'm going to shut down the machine and I'm going to save you guys, I promise. And then uh, he's like, but what everyone needs to do is escape into the ocean, build uh, ships out of sandwiches and escape. And then everyone goes, kill him. <laughs> they don't listen. And then they all try to jump and he gets in his car and he tries to escape. Even though it's totally the mayor's fault. Yeah. Nah. They try to kill him and then Mr. T stops everybody, right? He goes, hey, this is all our faults. You know, but Flint, he said, Flint Lockwood, he wasn't the only one. You know, we were all eating the food and requesting stuff, even me. He goes, now when Flint gets out this car, yes, I am going to slap him. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that, you know, we don't have all, we all don't have a bill to pay. And then everybody starts clapping and then Flint gets out the car and then he, everybody hugs him and then he slaps the shit out <laughs> And then, so, uh, he goes, uh, everyone uh, is cheering. And then even, like, baby Brent comes back. And so they all leave. And they all go to build sandwiches and shit. Yeah. And then Sam says, I'm coming with you. And then uh, he tries to kiss her. And then she goes, no, what are you doing? He goes, sorry, wrong moment. And, uh. then, he goes, uh, and then Manny goes, I come too. Uh, uh, I'll come as well. I am a pilot. Right? And they go, oh, my God, you're a pilot too? And then he says, uh, I am also something else. And then they all laugh. And he goes, that was a joke. I am also a comedian. <laughs> so funny, Oh, dude, bro. Manny's dope. Manny's the best. Yeah. Oh, Manny's the best. Yeah. And then uh, right then, baby Brent goes, I'm coming too. And then uh, he goes, I've been coasting on my fame, but maybe up there, I'll find out who baby Brent really is. He calls himself baby Brent. So they take off, and then the dad's looking up, and he's like, good luck, son. So they get up close and they realize the machine is like a gigantic meatball. Yeah. Okay? Are, there, are there shots of like famous attractions being covered in food? We'll get there. Okay. Famous attractions, famous monuments. Oh, yeah. So there's water on the top of the machine coming in, gigantic food coming out. Like that's what it looks like. That's the shot, right? Yeah. It's just a food. And then they, uh, they go like water in the top, food, cur food hurricane out the bottom, you know? And then uh, it's the size of like a small planet pretty much. It's so big. And then the meatball that it is drops like a pizza out. And the pizza breaks off into like small little planes and now starts chasing them. And they're like, oh my God, the flim defer has mutated and is now sending it life and is protecting itself. <laughs> so like the pizza's shooting pepperonis at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, whoa. And then he goes, and he's holding the kill code. And he's like, wow, wouldn't that be crazy if I lost this kill code? And then right then, it, like the window opens and he loses it. So he goes, and then baby Brent goes, uh-oh. And then he calls his dad and he goes, dad, I need a favor. The world depends on it. What do you need, son? I'm, I, I'm here for anything. He goes, I need you to go to my lab, get on my computer and email a file to my phone. And the dad's like, like, uh, 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 <laughs> like you see his eyes for the first time. Yeah, that's He's really funny. Terrified. That's really funny to ask an old person to do that. That's oh, really yeah. funny. And the world depends on it? Yeah, the world depends on it. That's so goddamn funny. So Manny drives all dope and he's avoiding the pizzas. Mm -hmm. And then Flint tells everyone his plan, right, about mm -hmm. uh, what they need to do, about they're going to dive in and do the kill code, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, he, and he's like, Brent's like, what do I do? Baby Brent's like, and he's like, well, baby Brent, you just watch the back seat. He's like, uh, he's like, okay. And then he goes, wait, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> And so they all drop down, right? They're dropping into the machine. And then uh, it's Sam and him. They're holding hands. And then she's like, he's like, how are we falling? And she's like, we're perfect. We're completely on course to land right where we need to land. And then right then, go, baby Brent goes, we're a team. And then jumps on him and then knocks them off course, right? 
So they land cr- like where they're not supposed to land in the machine. Yeah. So right then, uh, he grabs it's like, a marshmallow. It's like Armageddon. It's like Arm. It's exactly like Armageddon. It's like Armageddon. Exactly, dude. <laughs> so he grabs a marshmallow flint and he puts it on, a, like he roasts it on a fire, and he goes, "We got to go into the machine now, right?" And they go and they start walking, like, tracking funny. in. So his dad is now in his lap, and his dad's like, "What the fuck?" Because it's crazy big. <laughs> yeah. And uh, in the machine, they have to get across like hot fry oil. So they're jumping across and the dad calls mm-hmm. and he goes, dad, on the screen is a file marked kill code. I want you to move the file uh, to a drag the file across the screen and then hit it to a button and press send. And the dad goes, it's not dragging. And he's like dragging stuff. <laughs> and he's like, no, dad, drag it across the desktop. I am dragging the desktop. Oh, oh my God. You know, and so... Uh, Mr. T now has everyone making sandwiches out of boats uh-huh. and they're uh, make their making uh boats out of sandwiches and they're making a, a run to the water right then the mayor stops them like he's like everybody stop and then he just steals one and then goes i run out of here suckers and like leaves them right and then just goes nom 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 and just starts eating a sandwich that he's floating away on it's so funny it's a funny ass shot and then uh you see a levy that's holding all the food that got catapulted right mm. you see a cherry fall from the sky Laying on top, and then of course the levee breaks. All the food just destroys the town, and everybody's like, "Food avalanche!" Food's destroying the town, and then it's a cool shot of Mr. T, and he's running, and he has a he has his family on the sandwich, and he's like avoiding shit. It's like a great, cool like chase scene, yeah, right? Yeah. It's really dope. It's fun, and uh, they head south, right? And the, he's telling everybody like, "Head south, head south!" And then the dad finally uh, gets gets the kill code thing right, and he's about to hit sin, and then the food avalanche hits him, and he's like, "Dad!" Pff, dad! Right? And it go to black. So then right then, Brent notices chickens. Like full-grown chickens climbing all across, like 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 roaches, right? All across the thing. And they're like, guys. And then one gets up close and he's like, oh, it's kind of cute. And then it eats him whole. Eats baby Brent. And then he goes, oh, my God, baby Brent. And then uh, he goes, Dad, I'm surrounded by man-eating chickens right now. So if you can hear this, this is goodbye. Thanks for trying to set everything straight. And then right then the dad pops up through all the food and he climbs up and he moves into the mouse and he hits the sin. And the uh, and then you see the kill code comes to Flint's phone and he's like, yes. And then right then a chicken steals the phone. And then the, another chicken like falls down and goes. And then you see baby Brent's head pop out of the chicken. And then like his arms and his legs. And he goes, they're like, baby Brent. And he goes, I'm not baby Brent anymore. I'm chicken Brent now. (laughs) And he starts beating up all the chickens and he gets the phone back and he goes, and I'm finally contributing to society. (laughs) And he fights off all the chickens. And he goes, now go save the world. And they're like, thank you, chicken Brent. Thank you. And then they run off, right? And then they run up and they're like, all right, all we got to do is go down this hole and the machine's down there and it's covered in peanut brittle. And they're like, oh no, it's all peanut brittle. What are we going to do? We're allergic. And then he goes, uh, I'm not allergic. And she goes, why did you tell me you're allergic? And he looks at her kind of like soft and he goes, did you think telling me you're allergic, it was going to make me like you more? And he goes, "Ah." (laughs) so it now shows New York getting pummeled. The pummel by bagels. The Eiffel Tower has a sandwich fall on it. Mount Rushmore is getting hit by pies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the giant wall gets hit with a fortune cookie. That's and it says, you were about to get hit with corn. And then corn falls. <laughs> uh, so the newsman is saying how the storm, and then the newsman goes, the storm is hitting an unusual pattern. Uh, the storm is doing an unusual pattern by hitting the world's most famous landmarks first. And now it's hitting the rest of the world. And then it hits the rest of the world. The food. That's funny. So she's. Wait, lo- that's a good way to make fun of disaster movies. It's, so funny. Yeah, it's always like the. Does, does anything happen to the Golden Gate Bridge? Not in this one. Not in this one. Okay, that's, yeah, they that's do a those big three. One. Mount Rushmore. They do those couple. Uh, okay. New York and the Eiffel. Yeah, it's always and the true. giant wall. Yeah, in my mind, it, uh, disaster movies always at the very least Statue of Liberty, Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, Usually, always. Statue yeah, yeah. Always Eiffel Statue Tower of- a lot. A little sometimes. Always Statue with. of Liberty. Always though. Statue of Liberty though. Yeah. Uh, so she lowers him down in the. Like in this, like with licorice down this peanut brittle hole, and he tells her uh, that when he gets down, he's gonna put the kill code switch in, and then he's gonna yank on it twice for him to for her to pull him up. Yeah. And then, uh, and then right then she goes okay, and then the machine gets hit, mm-hmm. and it kind of moves, and so she drops him, and then when she catches him, she gets stuck herself with peanut brittle. Okay. Oh God. So her arm starts to puff up, and he goes, "Oh no, you got stuck." He says, "You gotta let go of me, Sam." And she goes, "No, I don't want to lose you." And she keeps puffing up, and he goes. She goes, he goes, you got to let go. And she goes, look, I like you, okay? He goes, 
He goes, uh, as a friend? And she goes, no. Like, I like you like you. And he goes, me too. But about you. <laughs> and he bites the licorice and he falls, right? And she goes, no. And he, he radios to baby Brent. And he goes, baby Brent, go save Sam. And he's like, copy. And then he goes and he saves Sam and he, like, he grabs her and he goes, don't worry, Sam. Manny's got medicine for your fat face. <laughs> I forgot so, Manny's here too. He falls down to where the machine is, right? Flint, and he is hiding. And uh, uh, so Manny, it, it shows Manny, he's going to save Sam, but there's gummy bears all over the plane. Yeah. And then Steve goes, mm, gummy bears. And Steve beats the shit and eats all the gummy bears. <laughs> it's a dope fight scene, like another dope fight scene. Yeah. And then so they save baby Brent and Sam, right? Yeah. Uh, Manny. And so Flint is doing like spy noises, like do, 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 You know, and he's like hiding around. And the machine notices he's there. Like it's, like self-aware and it's like looking for him and shit mm-hmm. you know and then he's hiding as an olive and he's hiding and then he he, uh, he takes a piece of shrimp and he lassos it and he swings it onto a donut and then he fucking swings himself like ah and he wraps around the machine and like holds it down right and then uh he uh he goes sorry my good friend but the kitchen's closed mm, and he enters the kill code and the cat video from earlier pops up yeah yeah and he goes dead <laughs> And the machine unwraps itself, and now he's like flinging on the machine like crazy, right? Yeah. And the machine's trying to fling him off and fling him off. And then finally, the machine starts like, like gonna make something like crazy big, so it shoots him off. And then he's looking down, and he's like, oh, what is he gonna do, right? And he's holding on for dear life. And then uh, he notices in slow mo his feet, and he's looking at him. And then he gets an idea, and he goes, When it rains, you put on a coat of spray on shoes. <laughs> And he sprays the hole and like with the the machine, like that hole, like the, that the food's been coming out of, you know. And then he lets go, and the, and as he lets go in slow motion, the machine blows up behind him as he's just falling out of the sky, like into his death. That's why they had the spray on shoes with him. Yeah, and he has that look on his death, that look on his face, that like I'm okay with this, that I'm okay with dying now, now, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, so the machine is just blowing up behind him, right, and everybody's looking up and seeing that. And then Sam, uh, she wakes up and she's like, oh, and the thing from the peanut butter coma and she's yeah. like where's Flint and then she notices the machine blowing up and she's like no like that and then right then chicken Brent holds her and he's like I know Sam I know and he like turns her away like rubbing her with his chicken hand and then uh, so the the world is now cleared from the food skies like all the food clouds go away and then the dad he gets out from the lab and uh, the like and he looks up for the ship and then the ship lands and people are cheering and everyone's going crazy and then uh Everyone gets out of the ship real sad. And then the dad goes, where's Flint? Flint. And she goes, I'm sorry. And he goes, oh. And then the dad breaks down. Oh, ah. Yeah. Ah. And then Steve gets real sad. And he's like, sad, you know? Yeah. And then uh, he goes, your son. She goes, your son was a great man. And then you hear in the distance, everybody looks up. You hear, caw, 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 caw. And you see all the rat birds coming back. And they're carrying Steve. Flint. And then they Yo, drop. I did not see that coming. That's Yo, great. Amazing. And the rat birds <laughs> drop him off. Right? Oh, yeah, he is their father. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, and he goes, Thank you guys. And then uh the it's like they they everyone goes, Flint, Flint, and everybody runs and they hug him. And he goes, Sam, and then he goes, Dad. And they go, Flint, and he goes, Steve, and then Steve goes, Steve, and they're like, Dad, Steve, Flint, Dad, Dad, <laughs> Chicken Brent. And then it just that goes on for way too long. Yeah. Uh, uh, I love bits that go away. Oh, too me too. It's a very men in black. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh they're looking at each other and he goes, Dad, thank you, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, uh, son, when you cast your line. And it's not straight. And then Sam goes, oh, my God. And she takes the monkey translator and then puts it on the dad. And then the dad goes, I'm, uh, I'm amazed by you, Flint. You're original. You're a marvelous talent. You know, you're a genius. Your mother would be so proud. You know, and he goes, and when I know I take this off, I'm going to make some fishing metaphor. But no, that it means I love you more than anything. Right. And then he's like, I love you too, dad. And they hug. And then uh, he looks at Sam and he's like, so where were we? And then she goes, about to kiss. And then they make puffy faces so they can kiss. And then the camera pans back. And then uh, everybody's screaming. And they're all like, yeah. Everybody's cheering. And then you hear Brent go, I'm a chicken. <laughs> and then it shows the rat birds like flying high in the sky. Like yeah. a really epic shot of all the rat birds yeah. flying in like a V. Yeah. <laughs> and then the movie goes, you know, the end, right? And then it cuts. 
And then it comes back up after the credits for a second, and it goes, uh, it's the mayor, and he's on the last piece of the sandwich, and he goes, this was not well thought out. And then he takes another bite of it, and then it ends. Cloudy with a chance of fucking meatballs. Man, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I want to watch it now. Oh, I can't wait for you to watch it, but yeah. this is a Son of Mod movie. Uh, Sam said when we watched it yesterday, she's like, I cannot believe he hasn't seen this. Oh, this yeah. It's amazing. Oh, God. I'm excited. I'm probably going to watch it tonight, maybe. You should, it's, it's still rented. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's just so silly. All right. Well, you know, that's it. That's it, guys. Cloudy right. with a chance of meatballs. Yay.